Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody, we will discuss classification tree as a part of accident data analysis. You have seen in last class we have discussed regression, we have discussed only the concepts and the basics and some results. For classification tree also I will do the same thing, we will not be dealing the detailed mathematical issues here because our purpose is not to treat the mathematics or purpose is to see how classification tree will be useful <coughs> in accident data analysis. <coughs> so, the concept um, will be discussed be that CART concept where CART stands for classification and regression tree, classification and regression tree. and then uh, some ex on example we will see and then <coughs> performance matrix of classification tree will be discussed. In fact, this performance matrix will or, or classification regression tree or in case of prediction also it is used ok. So, general one. So, what is <coughs> classification? Classification is a systematic approach by separating various entities into several classes, separating various entities into several classes. For example, if I say that living animals, so if you say that the living bodies, then you can find out animal and non-animal like human. Again animal you can find out different kind of some animals are wild animals, some animals are domestic animals. So, suppose given a animal to you, you are asked the animal from which class, if it is cow you will say it is domestic animal, but if it is tiger you will say it is a wild animal. So, that is basically the concept of classification. So, another concept a classification problem will be suppose you are the bank manager and then you know <coughs> you, you are disbursing loan to people. So, there can be a group of people who are always defaulter, they will not repay the loan. <coughs> so, giving the uh, the person individual uh, value, individual uh, attributes, the person's income and socio-economic status uh, and you can very you can find a more build a classification model and which will ultimately tells you later given this information whether the particular uh, person will be uh, repaying the loan or if repay what is the probability of repaying something like this. So, and same thing can be thought of in accident scenarios also because you have seen that accidents are result of deterioration or deviation from normal condition in from the process point of view, procedure point of view from the technology point of view, from the environment point of view, from organization point of view many things. So, in the in the lower level uh, that they are basically unsafe acts, unsafe condition, incompetencies, inspection, lack of inspection, uh, lack of removal many other things are there. So, now <coughs> what may it may so happen that the situation the <coughs> situation can be of different severity level. I mean, a situation can be of fatality prone situation, another can be that high severity prone situation, another situation can be of less severe or maybe uh, severe point severity point of view. So, the <coughs> if the if the workplace conditions are given to you and then you are asked that you tell that uh, and if today someone wants to work there. So, what is the exposure to what severity level of exposure he or she will be having, then also you can go for classification model, because here the classes class is the severity 
and there will be different uh, severity class. Okay. There, can, there could be many uh, other examples in the safety domain that can be that can be talked about. So, <coughs> you just think and you find out the way, but here we are basically interested to tell you that classification is a good tool when you have large number enough, enough data and then you have con uh, and the attributes of the variables of interest are also uh, logically and correctly quantified and, and data are collected accordingly, then, then you can use classification model to predict accident situation or accident severity or incident categories or something like this. Now, classification is having of two different types, one is supervised, another one is unsupervised. When you know the class, for example, for bank it is defaulter or not defaulter, for accident the situation is grave or situation is normal, for, for people, for people may be he will uh, given this job he will be committing some mistakes or not. So, in that case the, when the classes are known it will be supervised, but in some cases classes are not known, mean what actually will happen, but there are so many so much of features or the characteristics uh, which are interest. For example, we have different uh, sections with the uh, all the uh, work system component values, characteristics values. Suppose we want that you, 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 you that cluster the groups or the workplaces into different zone of uh, zone of safety level point of view and then ultimately you have to go for unsupervised method like clustering and then after that seeing the features you will name the clusters. Okay. So, one of the supervised uh, classification method is classification in regression tree. This is a data mining techniques and it is basically used in also coming under the machine learning concept. So, what is the concept here? Basically this model, this model first learn using the training data and then then uh, we apply the model using test data. So, even that is true for the regression also. Suppose you have n number of capital n number of data points, you take small n data for training, then n minus n whatever another small amount small is there like 70 percent of this is equal to 70 percent of n, then this may be 30 percent of n. So, you, you use this to learn the model and you and this small data for apply the model to test whether the model is working or not. Here what happened basically you will create a learning algorithm and that algorithm will learn by considering the instances one after another and then one model is model is uh, adequate enough. So, in order to test whether one model is learned adequately you apply the model with another set of data and you see that whether actually model learn adequately or not or you require to refine the model. Okay. So, this is true for all prediction model including cart, regressions and other things. So, <clears throat> now let us see the, the basics of cart. Actually, it is a decision tree, tree based classification model. It, it basically split the entire, entire, entire data into different parts. The splitting is binary in nature means to like I have the entire data set like this, first I split like this, this is one, this another. Then again I split this making it two, another one this making it two, like this binary splitting continues. So, the tree build uh, is by splitting one node into two child nodes. So, as a result we will start when we start with all the data, all data are in the root node, then you considering certain attributes the split will take place and it will go to child, child node 1 and then internal child node 1. So, this is basically node 1 and node 2, these two are child children to this root node. Now, when we are saying child node 1 here means this is not for the split here, this is the end here. Now, the internal node it can become parent to another child nodes. Okay. So, ultimately at the bottom all child nodes will be there. What will be the child node? Child node is when one where the, the data is homogeneous in nature or further splitting will not increase the homogeneity of the data. Okay. So, that is what is the way classification works. So, root node 
root node no incoming edges, 0 or more outgoing edges, internal node exactly one incoming edge, one incoming edge, two or more outgoing edge and leaf or terminal node, these are child node exactly one incoming edge, but no outgoing edge. Okay. So, how this uh, card model will use? They basically consider different sets of attributes. These are x or other way in the regression independent variables we say same manner. Then the model learns and output will be the classification class label, which class of uh, instant it is. If it is individual related, what type of individual he or she is? If it is workplace regulated, what type of workplace it is? It is severely accident prone or it is a safe or it, uh, or it is basically moderately dangerous something like this. Okay. So, what I said that you have data, huge data for different attributes. So, this data will be splitted. The split take place in, in binary mode. First root data set will be split into two child children uh, nodes and then the again they will be uh, split and ultimately at the bottom there will be only the leaf node or terminal node. So, what is the basic of uh, when do you stop? We stop when the homogeneity of the data is not further improved in the child nodes. Okay. So, let us see one example, suppose a company is experiencing serious accident over the last 5 years. They have been <coughs> collecting records of each of the accident occurred in the plant. The data consisting 500 records are retrieved from the company for analysis with an aim to predict the incident outcomes like whether injury, near miss or property damage, what kind of accident will take place. Okay. The attributes used in the data set provided below use cart algorithm for prediction. So, what are the attributes month, which day, which location, incident event, what type of event, what is working condition, machine condition, observation types, incident types, employee time, generation, so many. So, mainly these are all location stamps, time stamp, process related information, procedure related information, then your employee related information and finally, obviously, what you want to predict. Uh, so, that categorical variables, most of them are categorical in nature, some are numerical. Okay. So, there are different category, this is what is the data set. Now, we want to use this data set and we want to show that how card will help us. Please keep in mind that this data set is not real data, this is a hypothetical data. Again, although there is touch of reality, from the attributes point of view, but data are not data are not real. So, okay, there is that data we have created. <coughs> so, <coughs> we have used some software. Okay, so, you use software, I have already given in last class different software. So, use any of the software and then what happened, you will basically find out interestingly that how many class are there? One is injury class, near miss class, property damage, three class that is what we want to predict. Given the workplace attributes, individual people working attributes, all those things. So, you want to know that whether given that situation, which one is most likely to occur injury, near miss or property damage something like this. So, here at the root node, you see that only these three classes are there injury, near miss and property with this number of observation, there are total number of observation is 342. Okay. Then it is a question comes that what are the which attribute you will choose, basically you try to use one of the attribute at a time and then do the split here. The split is split takes place depending based on certain uh, certain mathematics. So, that that is known as that is known as basically growing. So, what we will do at this point we you want to you have to find out to consider each of the variables okay, and then or attributes and then find out that which attributes is giving you the maximum improvement in terms of homogeneity. 
So, here the class homogeneity vis a vis the class homogeneity here at the child node they will be different and here the homogeneity will be less compared to this. So, that is the issue or other way we can say impurity. So, so we will choose that variable which in the split which gives you the maximum improvement from homogeneity point of view, maximum gain from homogeneity point of view that means the impurity will be reduced maximally. So, as there are many variables to attributes together you will you will take the that one which gives you the maximum at the beginning that is the starting point. So, we are saying basically that improvement 0 0.0, 0.0 this. So, please <coughs> understand that there are different index like Gini index G i n i Gini index then entropy index then misclassification rate is there misclassification probability. So, there are many such measures index are there which used to find out the find out the impurity. The impurity here and impurity here when when they are compared here impurity will be less. So, that is the improvement or impurity in other sense we can say homogeneity and homogeneity here or heterogeneity. So, okay. So, using those three one of the three uh, uh, indices like uh, again Gini index entropy and other another criteria you find out which variable is giving you the maximum benefit. Okay. So, that means the entire data set you see 342 was the initial now it is split to two parts in this case where it is 195. So, 342 minus 195 will be coming here the what is the benefit you found out here here injury 44 26 28 here 40 24 35 but here in this class 51 percent injury side so it is basically improved one it is no, again it is not a uh, very good uh, splitting in the sense that the homogeneity is not that much improved but it is improved one then now you are dealing with this set so originally 342 so, then 195, 195 here, then 147 here. Now, this uh, this one, this is here. So, this one again, this data you are, you are finding out with the all the variable, which one is giving you the maximum benefit. Here, we found out the gender is giving maximum benefit. So, gender male and female. So, then again the split has taken place. Similarly, this one also like this. So, here what happened, this become 43 percent here this is the maximum, here it is 62 percent, here it is again 41 percent. So, in this manner you continue and finally, you will you will finish or you will stop, you will stop when there is no further improvement possible given the attributes and using any of the impurity calculation criteria, calculation methods. So, here what happened 51 percent maximum it is 40. 28, 40. Okay, so the data is not that good here, because or other way I can say the uh, the variables the for the purpose it is used they are not able to explain that much, but nevertheless it has given you some some information that what are, which are the variables contributing. You started with month, then gender, here day, again month comes. So, then again what happened gender comes so month and gender and day these are coming in this data because hypothetical data we have considered again we might have committed mistake in putting the values in reality it may not be uh, this much it may be much better even or much worse also absolutely, but this is what is the method of cut. Then what happened given the given attributes you will be able to predict which class it is there. So, there is the last step is the prediction. Okay. So, <coughs> so, that means you please understand that this is basically 3 is cut is 3 is generated. So, what ultimately we have done I just missed, uh, forgot to tell you. So, this side we are talking about the training side and this is the test. I am sorry that I have started from here and finally, landed here, but it is not that using the 70 percent of the, the training data you got this, this is the end and here test data and almost they are training and test giving you the similar kind of 
results and that he, that is that is to be okay so let me repeat growing stopping prediction this is important so there are many many, many criteria index that to be used now you start with the root node in you ultimately go for the children that leaf node final one the leaf node is one where you cannot further split because that split will not give you any improvement so there will be two sets of data training sample and test sample and in the training sample like this and the test sample like this this is given here it is not that from here that again day actually here month month gender gender day day this is coming it it can it can be further split but we have not shown because the further split is not giving you better result okay so <coughs> correct it now what will happen so using the the model the cart so you you will be able to give in the given the attributes you will be able to predict under which class so here the actual class vis a vis predicted class these are the predicted class these are the actual class when you observe the data you can find out a classification table like this where actual class and predicted class will be will be represented in this manner then this one e a or e b b or e c c these are the frequencies which talks about that actual class and predicted class matches and rest that are the diagonal element and rest of diagonal element frequencies are mismatch or misclassification this this matrix is known as confusion matrix or misclassification matrix so in the confusion matrix or misclassification matrix the diagonal elements are the correct classification of diagonal element are incorrect classification so the classifier accuracy or classifier performance will be tested using this confusion matrix there are several parameters or several criteria have been have been developed one of them is or performance matrix have been developed one of them is accuracy another one precision and some more are there so what is accuracy it is defined as the ratio of the correctly predicted observations ratio of correctly predicted observation to the total observations i told you the diagonal frequencies are correctly predicted so i equal to 1 to a to c e i i so a a b b c c divided by total total observation all so that mean actual one from a to c and predicted one from a to c that i a to, a to c j a to c and every observation you have considered that is the accuracy then another one is the precision it is defined as the ratio of correctly predicted observations ratio of correctly predicted observations under a particular class to the total predicted observation under that class so you you actual class you consider class a so what is the ratio of correctly predicted observation of that class that is nothing but a then what is the basically total predicted observation under this class so under this class total predicted observation is ea eba eca a e a a e b a e c a i equal to a to c so that is your precision so what do you want you want accuracy should be high precision should be high that is the that is the issue so now the third one is recall what is recall recall is e a a by this so so you see it is the ratio of correctly predicted observations under a particular class to actual observation in this class you have this is the predicted part and this is the actual part the correct one is in in our case correct one is this one is correct this is correct this is correct so this is actual b and c predicted a b and c what is recall ratio of correctly predicted observation so this one divided by the total number of, of uh, <coughs> observations that is basically 
that is actual observations in this class. So, this one this plus this plus this total and if you take divide by this total then this will be precision. If you divide the correctly classified observation by the column row total it is giving you recall. If you write like this, this is the predicted and this is actual. If you if you do the same thing that may, may divide the correctly classified one by the column total in this fashion then it is will be the recall. Okay. So, now what happened they this precision and recall are very important one. So, these two are combined in, in a matrix which is known as f major f major. What is f major? It is a matrix calculated from the weighted average of precision and recall. It can be expressed in the following equation where beta denotes the relative importance of recall versus precision. So, what is f major? f major is 1 plus beta square precision times recall by beta square into recall plus precision when beta equal to 1 it is f 1 score. Okay, so, that is basically weighted combination. Now, what will be the beta value? So, beta can be 1, beta can be other values also. So, so what we say that f 1 score is used or other 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 major f values you can take, but f 1 score is mostly used. So, this basically gives you a metric which is basically combining the two important performance metrics called precision and recall. Okay. Then another one that is also very important one which is known as receiver operating characteristic curve. So, this is basically the sensitivity and specificity is there. The ROC chart shows that false positive on x axis and probability of target when it is true values something like this. So, the area under this curve is very important and that will basically talk about the performance of the case. So, true positive, true negative and other things. So, I will not discuss here. So, what I request all of you just please go through this ROC curve little more detail and then the true positive, true negative, then sensitivity and all those the specificity, all those measures also please go through and do your home assignment. Otherwise, you if you are not able to understand put in the discussion forum because these things are important for not only for understanding ROC curve or also for the examination purpose. So, the area under the curve is very important that area under the curve will basically talk about what is the what is the performance of your uh, that classifier. So, area under the curve the more that is the better one. In practice for most in practice for most practical purposes this will be 0 0.5 to 1. Okay. Now, for that particular data what we have developed the classification tree. So, we are basically seeing that what is the measure. So, in the training data and test data two kind of data set we have used in the training data that injury, near miss, property damage and overall. So, the predicted value and these are the actual value. So, 135, 22 and here it is 0. So, so that means you see that so much of uh, misclassification is taken place. So, the accuracy is basically total pay, pay <coughs> accuracy which side okay. the same thing from the test data also you can do and the the this one given from the test uh, data point of view. So, currently classified 57 and plus 7 plus 0 57 this plus 0 by total observation 57 plus 13 plus 0 38 plus 7 plus 0 and your other one is 31 plus 12 plus 0. Okay. So, <coughs> So, actual if I see the actual property damage case this if I see the predicted property damage case in both cases it is 0. So, it is very bad model I can tell you 
and accordingly what happened accuracy is 0 0.405, precision is 0 0.4524, recall is 0 0.81, okay, recall is better and F1 score is like this. But particularly I, I, I am surprised to see this that this side it is completely 0. Okay, but if I if I see that these are the predicted, then the actual one, it's a huge number. Is there 79 plus 28 uh, plus 18, and here 70 plus 22, the 23 percent. Which a property damage case. Okay, this is basically percent correct or predicted one is zero. Okay, so okay, this is not a big issue for all of us what is the important thing is that so cut can be used for prediction purposes and once you use any software you will be getting such confusion or classification table you will be getting it for the both the training and test data then you can find out all the performance measures with reference to with re, uh, reference to the cut model and then accuracy precision recall all should be value should be high value this should be good value so, and then, uh, <coughs> then ultimately there will be there is no such 100 percent uh, or absolute uh, threshold value for all those things, but it should be as good as possible. So, you play, you, if you go by the accidental literature, so you may find out some of the thresh, some of the useful values for accuracy, precision, recall and EBSCO. So, these are the issues what is to be dealt with before using this model for prediction. Okay. So, I hope that this lecture makes some sense to you also. This is a classification model cut basically we have shown you the classification tree not the regression tree, but the classification and regression tree it is commonly used name. So, so, it is also similar to your regression, but in classification tree you will see the attributes are categorical in nature and in regression tree attributes will be continuous in nature. Okay. Uh, thank you very much from the accident investigation and accident analysis data analysis point of view. This is what we have covered. This is a huge topic. In fact, there is one con concept called safety analytics this in two days very hot topic is safety analytics. Safety analytics, okay. analytics in fact uh, under industry 4.0 industry 4.0. So, you will see that uh, now this analytics AI machine learning then the sensor data all those things means safety maintenance operation related all data together come you will use and ultimately you find out that it will give you a better prediction model. So, safety analytics is a um, is an area to work on particularly if you if you are interested in safety analytics. So, uh, there is there is a journal called safety science safety science there is a special issue safety science special issue on safety analytics where you can if you are researcher if you are practitioner who want to disseminate your knowledge uh, you can uh, you can send uh, this paper this this is basically we are all organizing this special issue okay thank you very much have a good day